Hello. Thank you for your support as Patreon because this file was created to demonstrate what Grease Pencil can do with anime effects. Okay, so this is a Grease Pencil file. This was the July 2022 reward, by the way. So what we're going to do right now is to first of all um, open Blender 3.5, which is which has the real-time compositor feature. So you can come here into Edit Preferences Interface mark this developer extra box once you do that you will have this button down here and from there you can come here and activate real-time compositor save the preferences close blender reopen it and if you are a patron you can open this file to test i'm going to do this with you for the first time this has not been prepared before camera so let's see what we get so the first thing I want to do is to append the cell shading compositor node. So I'm going to click on file, append. I'm going to navigate all the way to my most recent file, with, which is this one right here, where I apply the effect. And once you get in there, well, you will, you will be getting this into the your file. So you can navigate inside there and then come to node 3. Inside there, you should see the anime cell shading. And if not, please, please, please use the text box in the comments down below. Let me know your problems. I'll be happy to solve your problems. I still have to do a, an entire video on why I like to solve people's problems in VFX and 3D compositing. Okay, so I just, I, I feel I am helping you when you ask questions. So please feel free to ask educated questions, not, not just anything anyway so anime cell shading and then do the append so we don't see it but if you switch let me just open a new window down here and I will come here to the compositor you can check the use nodes checkbox in order for you to see the three now this three that I have right here has been composite using um, another add-on which I'll be talking about later on what you need to know is that if you press shift a and then come to group then you will have your anime cell shading specifically um, ready for you to use so i will deactivate and deconstruct this first and then i will import or use our anime cell shading so historia what is she doing here so let's click here just a regular blender 3.5 uh, file this is good it has not crashed as you can see it has no effects right now uh, the anti-aliasing is coming up it's not yet ready I'm sorry uh, but it will come so we can have anti-alias effects for for this kind of things but that's another issue so let's go into the full view right here please don't crash all right fantastic so this uh, July 2022 uh, file can be opened right here and I, I I believe we have animation yes we do have animation so that's a camera it's moving and uh, let's get closer to our dear historia yeah I know has been a long time but you can see the, the effects now this is good but it could be great so we're going to change some things and we are also going to be applying our compositor shader if we can call it it's not a shader really it's an effect so uh, in order for me to do that, I need to deactivate my current uh, effects, which are, let me see if I have them right, right here, Enrich. That's the name of the add-on. Why do I have this? Because when I press F12, I will get a render, and those effects from Enrich um, are going to define the look and feel for the anime Attack on Titan look. See that? We have uh, softer edges and stuff like that. We have a vignette. Um, it's right here so if I switch this off okay you can see it transforms if I switch this off it transforms but right now for this file I will not be needing this thing so I will just delete them but you can see the effect right there it's uh, you can control the opacity and reach is a p very powerful um, if we can call it this way uh, it's a very powerful um, quick look and feel preset manager for your effects and look and feel directly in the viewport that is great and it works with the uh, with the compositor so you can apply all of these uh, ready ready to go preset you know different colors different tones it's just it's just marvelous I will need to do a specific video to cover this entire add-on because it's marvelous but right now let's delete everything so we we can have a clean render 
and that's it now that it has been freed let's go back here and let me just switch off the backdrop because i don't need it and the lens distortion we're also going to delete and now that we have cleared everything we're going to be joining this here i usually work with this uh, size of window to to define my my effects but i'm going to be just connecting this image to the composite node and I'm going to come here to the final render view, as you can see. But I'm going to be switching this from disable to camera. So right now, nothing happens. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. So you so if you have this file, this is a grease pencil file. Previously, we have tested with 3D objects our anime effects. Now let's try it with grease pencil objects. I'm not going to be explaining all of this because you can check the cards up here on the upper right corner to check how I created all of these things. So shift A, group, anime cell shading, and it's got uh, two requirements. The first one is the image, which you have right here. And the second one is alpha, which you also have right here. And it also has a requirement of a background image. This is obligatory if you want to have your anime well integrated with your background. But here comes the issue. We do not have view layers uh, implemented in the real-time compositor. To supply for that need, uh, we need to have a workaround. And the workaround is to switch off Historia and just render out this background frame. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to switch out Historia. I'm going to press F12. It's going to render out an image, of course, the actual image as it is right now. And um, right there, okay, that's the background. I switch off Historia. I'm going to be saving this. Save as. And um, yeah, let's use BK. I like to use BK for background so you will know what it is. BK. And here in the compositor, you just press Shift A and bring an image node, image, and guess what? You're going to target that BK thing, that BK render. Now that we have this ready, you need to switch off your background because you will not be able to process it unless you have a render. So that's the workaround for not having rendered layers. If we would have rendered layers and those rendered layers would be active, you can easily just switch them right here and it will only preview that with its own alpha. But since we don't have that, um, it's easier for us to just render a frame. I'm going to press escape now to come back here and bring back Historia. And I think uh, it's the ocean, wave pillar, and sky. And also, you need to check uh, transparency. So let's go. Let me just open this thing here. Film, transparent, so we can see her completely transparent. This is a requirement. You need to do this. And now that we have this, we need to combine it, or rather join it, where the anime cell shading is. So connect that one to the background image, and now connect the image to image. And here you have it. You can see the final frame right there with its own distortions, fringes, with its own anime look since this is real time you can come select your um, model in this case historia you can come into your own um, grease pencil layers continue to modify and you will see the look right there now one thing i want to mention because i was talking to omar one of the real time um, viewport development uh, working with blender sorry and he said that right now it is not possible to calculate the correct aspect for the effects to rescale depending on the window size editor. The editor windows, window size will um, change how you view your effects. So it's not the same that looking at type of zoom than looking at it from this kind of size. You know, they look very different, and this is something that will be addressed later on in the development. Please, please remember that this is in constant development. Blender 3.5 real-time editor will not be out until some versions later. So it is a great joy to, you know, use these things uh, right now. But anyways, there's the result. 
you can see that it's got some white fringes there maybe because I have it selected yeah that's right so if you unselect it that goes away if you come here to the materials you can continue to change your materials and this is what makes it so good let's change her hair hair highlights and hair just the regular hair uh, color so this is the base color for the hair let's see I don't know let's make it green because you know or rather a bluish tint look at that she's just gorgeous and by the way if you're working at night your hair shouldn't be that bright I'm configuring all of these things down here the nodes so that you can have an easier way to work around with your effects for example uh, this has a lot of noise right now but there's a way to control that you have to just get in here and tweak stuff so thank you very much for your patience it is appreciated uh, thank you so much for subscribing to all the supporting patrons you already have gotten the uh, proof of concept files which already includes the anime effect itself but the working final free version including the model the your model will be coming in the next few days thank you so much for watching this and thank you so much for supporting my channel I really really appreciate it with when you share this content when you comment the files uh, when you comment the videos when you ask questions thank you so much for your support I really would like to see your your development and the things that you do with the things that you learn here in the channel you can just tag me or share a, a social post media and I'll be happy to to comment on that thank you so much and happy new 2023